Good evening. Thank you for joining me. By the end of this video, you will have fallen into a deep, deep sleep. But only if you listen to every word and fully commit sleep and relaxation. So, if you're ready to fall completely under my control, then we can begin. Before we begin, as always, if I could ask you to put in some headphones to experience the full my normal effect. Now let's first think about sleep in its most simplest of forms. It's a way for our bodies and our minds to restore and repair. However, when we deprive ourselves of sleep, we find ourselves being unable to function in a lot of ways. Sleep is something that many people take for granted and when you are able to finally achieve a good night's sleep, you'll realise how much easier your everyday is. However, for most, it's something that is quite difficult to achieve, especially in our busy and modern lifestyles. So how can we stop this pattern of behaviour that's keeping us from sleeping? Well, tonight you've chosen to take a step in the right direction by listening to something that is going to help you to relax and unwind. You can also use this whenever you are going through a period of stress, or perhaps when travelling, or anything where your sleep patterns may be disrupted. This will help to regulate your sleep and will help to get you into a regular pattern every single night. So, let's think about your day and how you're feeling right now. I imagine that if you're listening to this video, you may be struggling at the moment. It's important to stress that this is completely normal and natural. When we feel a negative emotion, we tend to internalise our feelings and assume that we must be the only ones feeling that way. This of course just simply is not true. There are so many people who struggle not just with sleep on a daily basis and it's very important to realise that you are not alone. It's also important to recognise where you may have an issue and you've chosen to take a positive step forward. When we are thinking about our day, our minds will tend to focus on the negatives. If you lead a busy work life or college life, you may be running through these things when it comes to when you need to relax. What we'll be looking to do is to break that pattern of behaviour, enabling you to simply focus on yourself. So let's take a minute to think about our days, but this time I want you to simply block out anything negative that happened. Anything that caused you any stress, 
and I just want you to focus on the very simple things. Perhaps something that made you smile, something that made you laugh. It could be absolutely anything. Perhaps you looked particularly nice today, maybe even received a compliment. Or maybe you went to the shops and got a really good bargain. It could be absolutely anything. So now with those negative thoughts about your day out your mind, how do you feel about your day? Again, taking into account that we are not focusing on anything negative that may have happened. Now, of course, you may have not had any negativity in the day whatsoever, in which case, lucky you. And that's absolutely fine. This is just about simply thinking about your day. When we really begin to look at our everyday, things actually don't seem too bad. So those thoughts that run through our mind before we go to bed can actually be very simply stopped by just stopping all of those negative thoughts and actually re-evaluating our days. Now, you may be thinking, well, that's all very well and good, but what if I have a lot of built up stress and tension over a long period. I would say in these situations, do simply map out each issue. When we tend to look at things as a collective, things can get very overwhelming. We can look at things all together and think how bad everything is. If, however, we just broke each one of those points down, maybe individually, those things wouldn't be as bad. So if you have been suffering with stress or you've had difficulty sleeping for a long time due to these issues, then that is something that I think is worth looking at. And you can be doing this now at the same time, whilst others are thinking about their every day. You can simply be breaking down each problem that you may be having. And I personally don't like to think of these as problems, because every one of these does have a solution. You won't always feel this way. And... Really, if you look at each issue, you will find a solution, even if things seem a little bit clouded at the moment. It's good in these situations to think about examples in the past where you may have overcome periods of stress, or when you have suffered with insomnia in the past. How did you overcome this? When we think that we may be trapped in a state of no sleep, our bodies and minds tend to go into a kind of panic mode. And we think that we are going to be constantly trapped in this world of no sleep. This exaggeration can cause terrible troubles for us because we immediately think that we're not going to sleep. So what's the point in going to bed? One thing that's very important to always keep in your mind is that sleep is possible for everyone. It's a very natural process and it's something that you can achieve. 
The reason why I've begun tonight with thinking about stress and negative thoughts is because it's much easier to attain a restful state once we clear our minds of anything that may be bothering us. Now, of course, you may be listening to this and you may not have any negative thoughts and you simply may just be feeling stressed from not sleeping and that's okay. It brings me to our next point. At this point, please feel free to close your eyes and just listen to my voice. Now, when we think about sleep, it's important to take into consideration our environment. Think about the room that you typically sleep in. Now, if you spend a lot of time travelling, this may be a little more difficult for you. Think about your typical home environment. Let's take a moment to just visualise your room and everything in it. Think about everything from the colour of your walls, to your bed, the floor, ceiling, lighting, everything. And just think for a moment objectively if there's anything in your room that you find a little bit unrelaxing. It could be something very small, very simple, maybe an ornament, maybe there's a particular colour that isn't as restful. If you think about when you enter your room to go to sleep, all of these things are taken into account. So there may be something just subconsciously that you may be recognising and it may trigger something in your mind and that may begin to get your mind running a little bit and actually off the path of sleep and relaxing. So just take a moment to think about your space and consider if there's anything that you could do to make your environment more relaxing. Obviously restful colours are something to consider and soft lighting. However, of course, when it comes to actually falling asleep, a completely pitch black room has been proven the best way to have a restful and deep night sleep. Having a completely darkened room also allows the body to completely repair. Once you've taken the moment to just think about your environment, maybe you can begin to consider some changes that you may make. If however you have no changes to make, that's absolutely fine. Let's look at the one object where you actually go to sleep. Of course, your bed. Now, if you are constantly getting into bed and every single night you are struggling to fall asleep, this creates a pattern of behaviour where our mind associates your bed with being unable to sleep. A tool that is very useful here is in those moments where you are laying there perhaps for hours struggling to sleep, simply get out of bed and go and sit in another room. The reason for this is we only want your bed to be associated going to sleep. We do not want the bed to be associated in your mind with laying there for hours not being able to sleep. So this applies to wherever you are, wherever you normally sleep. If you are struggling, just take the moment to get up and go and sit somewhere else. 
even if it's just for a few moments and you can sit in that other place with your eyes closed and when you feel like your body is entering more of a tired state you can then make your way back to bed but only when you are in that very relaxed and tired state so let's look at your bed I'm going to presume that you are lying down at the moment. So let's think about the bed itself and how comfortable it is. Do you find your bed nice and comfortable? And really think about that honestly. If you don't, maybe it's time to just consider changing your bed, getting a soft top or maybe trying to increase the level of comfort with more duvets or blankets. And now let's think about our pillow. This is something that's so important as it's supporting all of the neck and the head. Now when we feel tense in these areas, it's very difficult to fully relax and unwind. So take a moment just to think about your pillow. How comfortable are you? Now if your answer is you're not too comfortable, it might be time to consider changing your pillow. Everything that I'm talking about is very, very simple and that's what's really important to keep in mind here. This isn't me instructing you to do particular things. This is me just talking to you and asking you just to evaluate things in a very, very simple way. They're not hard tasks. You're not being asked to do anything particularly challenging. You're just being asked to address some things that may really help you to fall into a better and easier night's sleep. And that's really everyone's main goal. I think it's really important to ask yourself why you really want a good night's sleep. How will you feel compared to how you feel now? How will you function better? Will you be a nicer person? Will you be able to brush off stress easier? Just try to visualise for a moment actually how different things may be. And that's all because you're able just to close those eyes a little quicker and achieve that good night sleep. Sleep is something that once you do manage to achieve it, it can make you feel so much better. Think about how much more positive you may be, how much more rested you'll feel and of course as mentioned it's not just about how your mind feels, but also how your body feels. A great example is if you enjoy going to the gym and exercising. Your body actually really needs sleep in order to repair the muscles. And you'll find that after a good night's sleep, you feel fully rested and restored 
Whereas if you haven't experienced a good night's sleep, you may feel quite achy and lethargic and you may still feel quite sore from exercising. So sleep is very important in many, many different ways. I think one thing that stops us from falling asleep is often over-analyzing, you know, why we're not sleeping. And that's almost a, a silly question to ask ourselves because often it's subconscious things and things that, you know, may be out of our control. But now it's time to take back that control and realise that by doing very simple things, you really can make big changes. So by starting with that, thinking about your everyday or previous issues you may have had with stress and anxiety and tension, by just almost turning a switch off, you're just focusing on, it doesn't even have to be really positive, but just the normal everyday. If you're just focusing on that, that's a really great first step to get your mind in the right place. The next thing, as we talked about, is to really think about your environment. During the evening, it's important to be able to wind down. They recommend switching off screens and loud television. Perhaps pick up a good book. Or just do some simple activities like yoga, just to unwind and get your body in a more calm state. Our eyes are particularly sensitive and if we have very harsh lighting, especially in the evening, this can almost keep our brains switched on. So it's very important to have nice, subdued, soft lighting. And then, when it does come to sleeping, just turning off those lights and just enjoying the darkness and the peace. And of course, making sure that your bed is just completely relaxing, soft, warm, making that environment your little safe space, dedicated for sleep and relaxation. And as we discussed, if you're struggling to sleep in bed, Just taking yourself out of that environment, just momentarily, and only returning when you're completely ready just to sleep. Once you've done those things, together we can focus on your body, and any areas of tension that you may have. When we're laid down, and especially when we clear our minds of the everyday, we can begin to almost hyper-focus on everything that's going on with our bodies. So we may begin to focus in on any areas of pain and tension, instead of just accepting that now's the time to switch off and relax. But it's okay to feel tense, it's okay to have those areas of pain, but it's important to also, like our everyday thoughts, be able to just switch them off. 
So let's together just have a little scan over ourselves. Let's start with our head and our neck. Do you feel any tension or stress in this area? Often that, along with the shoulders, is an area that people can hold some tension, especially when doing things like computer or screen work. We tend to hold our heads in the wrong position, which can cause pain and discomfort. So, it's a good idea just to move your head gently side to side just releasing any tension, any stress. And as we work our way down, just think of any areas that you feel a little bit more uncomfortable than others. Perhaps your wrist and hands doing lots of work at the keyboard. Perhaps you play a lot of sport. Just try to focus on these areas and just loosely just try to relax them. This is why things like yoga, pilates, and meditation are particularly good to just help unwind all of the areas of the body. So once you've begun to relax these points, you work further down the body, you'll find that your legs may feel a little more achy. Perhaps you've been sat a long time and they feel quite stiff. Or the opposite and you've been walking all day or on your feet and they feel very tired and heavy. It's important to almost thank our bodies for what they go through on an everyday basis because our bodies are strong and now it's time to almost reward them by sleeping and allowing the body to repair. And as we work down finally to the feet, obviously holding all of us up every day just wiggle those toes and just begin to release any stress that you may be holding on to. Thanking your body for what it's been able to do during the day. And now just focusing internally on your breathing that's something that's very important when it comes to relaxing and to sleep. Just taking a slow breath in, holding just for a few seconds, and then releasing. It's worth repeating this type of breathing pattern just a few times to really slow down the breathing, regulate it, and realise that you're in complete control of your sleep. You don't need to stress or worry. You don't need to hold on to tension. Any pain you may be feeling, you've been able to simply switch off. Because now's the time for you. This is your time. There's no other part in the day that's dedicated completely to you. So this is your special moment. And don't you want your special moment to be worth it? 
don't you want to make the most of this part of the day? It's something that's so simple and something that you can achieve. It's so important to go into this restful state with a positive frame of mind. In the frame of mind that you are going to sleep. Think about how you're going to feel in the morning. More rested, refreshed, calm, able to take on all of your tasks during the day. Able to be the best version of yourself. And that's all through a good night's sleep. So I hope in this moment you feel more relaxed and ready to have your time, your very special moment, time to sleep, time to relax, time to repair and restore. I hope you're feeling a lot more ready to commit to your special sleep moment and I hope that you are able to take these simple points and use them time and time again to make sure that you always have the perfect night's sleep. I hope that you sleep well and until next time Good night.